Okay, so this is the 1.5 star puppy pad, the weekly challenge with our two star Tom Kinch. Let's do this. Yeah, level one. <laughs> I tried. I think last week's one path with Tom Kinch and it failed. So Tom Kinch is still level one. Okay, so out of these, I don't really like any of them. I can take a Dias, but our main focus is keeping him alive. Actually, I don't even know the cars that are in the deck. A nap should be weird. I will take a reroll here. Chrono Break is decent. No, allies have plus one, plus one when you play them. It's decent. Uh, so yeah, it's all about keeping Tom Kinch alive on the board and keep eating stuff, I think. I have no idea. This is the first time. This is the second time playing to with Tom Kinch. The first time I played with Tom Kinch, I never technically got Tom Kinch. Okay. So let's keep these two. You want a one mana play? No, two mana play, which technically don't have. But we have one mana play, it's fine. Oh yeah, so this week's challenge we get oh when the player plays a spell they refill one mana. That's the power for the time being. So let's play another one. Capture an ally, uh, an ally captures another ally and gains the capture ally stat line. Right now we don't need to do this. We'll take the trade, yeah. We'll take the trade, it's fine. We'll bank the mana and play Kench next turn and Kench has regeneration on him. So that's nice. It doesn't matter how much damage he takes technically. Okay. So we'll eat that one. Super. Oh, he actually creates that one as well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is his power? When you capture a unit, create a uh, copy of it, it costs one less. That's just super. I can just do this then. Then I can play it for one mana, right? Okay. That's not strike. Oh, I mean, that one. Uh, it would have died anyways then. Okay. Let's just split this then. Actually, I can just give more stat line to this guy. Technically, it doesn't work. Yeah, it does. It does. Okay, no, and let's do it the other way around. Make a bigger unit on the board. Oh, you can recycle it. Oh, that's actually pretty nutty. Yeah, you can recycle it. So if you have one mana, you can actually do it infinitely. Wait, can you do it infinitely if you have zero mana? I mean, you lose this one, but... Not infinitely, that means. Oh, pass. Oh, pass. Bigger threat on the board is this girl, obviously. More does more damage to face. Heal face. I think I'll play one for free, right? We'll never be able to hit face if we don't play it. play wider. Now we can actually. Okay, let's just trade. Take the trade then. In case they don't block, we can actually do yeah rally. Oh, they are blocking. Is that this one. We don't have to play the rally card. We can actually give more stat link to this guy. Because this guy's stat lane is going to go down as it is. Oh, I did the opposite thing, right? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fine. Takes two damage. Okay. That's a painful thing to do. Oh, five damage to face. It's fine. We'll do this. Open attack and rally again. First for game, we take eight, twelve damage. There we go. Super. I have no idea how to play this deck at all. So yeah. Because the one that gets captured, you get here. Yeah, discounted. Uh, I'll take a minion. Minions are nice. You can get a never-ending supply of them. Okay. Eight trucks heals. I will take eight trucks. Extra heals a bit. And I kind of need heal at the moment as it is. Okay. Slot bot, heal, shop. I'll go for shop side. No revive when we are already at 8 HP. He's a little slow. And I'm gonna give I'm That's without a doubt. So let's keep these two. Turn one play, turn two play. We have a lifesteal, but we technically don't have a weapon to activate the lifesteal. Nevertheless, it's fine. Let's play our minion. Get the damage in. Hopefully the elusiveness is not too much. 
we'll just split this one for mana efficiency. Okay. And already take face damage. <laughs> Can't really do anything about that. We'll play Kenj. Dish out the damage. Fine by us. Might as well dish out the damage as much as you can. We'll back the mana up next. If we can get a weapon, I can get life steal out of it. So pretty. I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna play the small unit to see what they do. Because they're definitely gonna play a uh, elusive somewhere. Just take this. So we get it. I think we get a unit as well, right? This one. I got elusive as well, super. Like the best one. I can play the elusive now. Super. Oh yeah, surviving and I guess plus one, plus one. That's got one gets power as well. Heal up. Super. If you get a weapon, then I can play a lifestyle combo. No weapon, but we can do a rally. Super. There we go. Good God, got them anyways. Now we have inbent heals, but we need better ways to deal with stuff on the board. He's weird, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe because he's too low level at the moment, that's why. Off is pretty nice. Strike for draw is also pretty nice. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, this is actually a plunder. Super. Plunder, I'll take it. Ah, we'll go for shop side. Let's see what we can get. Chrono Break is not the greatest. Extra drop to in the start is pretty nice. Oh, there's Smooth Soloist and there's another shop there. Yeah, we're playing pretty close to death, but it's fine. I don't mind it. Might as well get used to the squad himself. Yeah, I think the only reason why I'm struggling so much is because I'm level 1. Level 1s normally struggle a lot. Devil too low HP to deal with. Okay. Heal again, heal again, but we don't have a weapon. Okay, now we have a weapon. That's super. You know, this weapon doesn't really technically give stat lines. Okay. So let's just do this. I'm still good to let's get Take out the course here. Okay, surviving ally gets plus one, plus one. That's Tomkin just one stop power, I think. Yeah. Super. I'll, shoot the wings off a bilge I'll play this one. Okay. Keep another one. I'll just play another one then. Block, block. Super. Yeah, we're gonna live the next turn now. Yeah, even though we can play Tom Kinch, we can play double this into uh, weapon so we can heal. There's still a lot of heal. Doesn't matter which one we give it to. All of them are healed. Yeah, super six heals. That's a lot of heal actually. Six heal is no joke. You play Kench. Eat it. This actually is so nice. Transform an ally into a random 5 cost here. I'm gonna try it out. I can try it. Uh, nah, I can just finish it off. Yeah. We do this before that we do here heal. And we go back to 18 before we finish them off. We have a rally as well. Nice. Super. Okay. Thank god we didn't take the heal checkpoint. Because we would have lost a power if we did. Yeah, those life steal girls are clutch there. Okay. Okay, uh, we can give this as well. We can give this one. One mana cost is too expensive still. Nah, I'll take this one. To give vulnerable and go on. And now we move towards the shop side. Challenge everyone is not the greatest. Drug is plus one, plus one is decent. Do we get one free anyways? Okay. We get plus one, plus one every turn anyways. Okay. 
we go up against karma yeah karma fight should be a little pain but if you have kench i can actually directly eat her at the start this weapon is somewhat important in the sense that if we get the girls we can get life still but i don't think i needed it because my life was full yeah i should have done that okay we have eight trucks at least at the start okay so they're attacking so let's play slowly She's six, so that's actually pretty big. Where there is life, there is hope. Let's move. Mm -hmm. Can't block that one. Elusive. This one, this is gonna get traded to that one extra anyways. That's gonna get traded to this one anyways. Question is problem is that we don't have a yeah proper answer for karma. You can't attack with that one as well. Mm -hmm. I think you can just do this. Can do this. Okay, they're taking it back. And we can develop the others now. Oh, squirrel. Better than the sun on your scales. I just go next. We don't have to play everything. Problem is if they have a dragon kick, it's gonna be problematic with this guy on the board. Mm. We're not getting good cards in our hand, that's for sure. Elusive damage coming in. What is that? You follow some infernal copy of it. Okay, they're getting our run. Two Valcocks as well. Yeah, they don't have space for that though. It's fine by us. Walk. Actually, you can do this. Well damage rate, it's fine by us. Uh, Aatrox regen, so we're not too worried. We are keeping the board space open. You can heal like this always. Do this. Black Ops is a couple of impacts across the board. And we can throw Black Ops towards yeah, Karma next turn. Yeah, we're gonna swing for everything next turn. Oh, <laughs> you failed by one attack power. That sucks. I think at still attacking with everything is the right way to do it. Pull this one. Pull with this one. I think it's the right way to do it. Okay, she's replacing that fine by us. We're still getting 21 damage through. That's a lot. And we are healing for a bit. Problem is, he leveling him up it makes no difference. We don't really get any value out of it. Yeah, leveling up Aatrox, we don't get any value out of it. That's the reason why I don't want to like taking Aatrox. The only reason I took Aatrox is because of the lifesteal. Yes. Ah, one turn late, dude. He's taking that up. I'm gonna take the 9 damage, as weird as missing. I can give Bulkox like 13 impact damage. Just play this, I can give Bulkox 13 impact damage. Oh, he will have over and he will have 8. 8? I thought he would have 13. Anyways, whatever. 8 damage is still lethal on them. Hopefully, they don't have like, um, what's that called? Conquest upon and shit. So we just play with this. Okay, still still impact damage we do rally again. Impact damage actually kills them, so it's fine. Yeah, well comes to the rescue. Yeah, see Tom we can't even talk in, so that's sucky. 
it's it, it's it's a very bad thing that if you know that your support squad carries your ass then you know the deck's gonna suck a lot okay um I get more damage to you we can get barrier to yet kench as well the first absorb will never be lethal on him more attack power on yeah doesn't even make a difference region also makes, makes no difference i'm gonna give barrier to kench these stat lines, these things don't make any difference to any of the people on the in the roster right now other than barrier on him all allies have overwhelm is pretty good i'll take it it's it's what we were lacking but get plus one uh, all allies have overwhelm is more important than get getting plus one plus one you saw getting starts uh, attack stat makes no difference if there's no way to, for us to do phase damage okay start the strongest unit i should have gone to the other path yeah this is more problematic we're still looking for kench don't want these things we want kench one unit is fine Minion is also pretty good. My two draws and we are still not getting kinched. That's sucky. They're gonna play hit that hit with that trade. Yeah. I'll take the trade. It's fine. Minion is two mana anyways. And it comes back to my hand as well. So technically they're losing more value. The creator cast cost one less would be nice. Uh -huh. Um, I think nah. I need a. I need to pass first to see what they do. Looking for a daring escape. I'll pick him. I'll pick Marminian. I can actually attack. It's fine. I'll take the trade if they did give the trade. Yeah, because this 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 card is coming back, so it's not actually the bad bad of a value. Our heal is here, but uh, we have no way to use it. Mm. We play another one, and we won't play minion this time. I play minion this turn. Okay, Kench is here. Play Kench. And we got Twice on us as well. Mm, I got Taze, this guy. The Concussive Pound doesn't help. Still absorbs the thing. Getting rid of that dude is very important. And we have this one as well. Oh, we don't have a stun stun synergy, so playing this guy on the board makes no difference. And I understand that this deck will like burn out space. Okay, double stun. That's a key. Oh, you double. Okay, in that case, we'll just use this guy for one mana block on the seven seven. Yeah. Super. We have to play more units than they do here. Remember, you never saw me. Yeah, so this card there, this deck definitely needs to play a lot of things or we're gonna get burned out. Hope I didn't need oh, I don't okay, here, we don't need that. We'll just do this. Actually, let's do this on the Vonria one. And pull this one and pull this one. Take the trade here. Off we go. Take the trade here and swing with everything. We're okay with this. We have a rally on our side as well. Okay, recall is fine by us. They get the capture thing back though. Here's our chance. Man, plunder would be absolutely perfect here. So technically I can't play this one anymore because we lost the entire board. We'll just capture it again. And just capture this one. This thing grows, so we don't want it to go on the board. And the barrier protects it from taking damage. So that's super. Uh, I can play this one, I guess. I play with my might as well play it. Four blockers, that's it. Nothing special. Oh, we have another one. I'll take that one as well. Super. He's almost leveled up. He will level up this turn, actually. If, we, if, I, if I'm allowed to absorb anything. Where there's a will... There we go. We just absorb this, level up, and be ready for anything on their side. Okay, that recalling it. I'm just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat my own unit, yeah. Let's take this guy. Take any capture. There we go. He spits it out again because he levels up. That's still pretty crazy if you think about it. He takes the stats and then spits it out. Super. 
super. Uh, current all eyes in hand. Plus one, plus one. Super. Mm, play this one. I play, I'll keep one space for the year next turn. Actually, I can attack with everything then. I can absorb, I can absorb and kill it later. I mean, e consume it later. Actually, I can consume it first as well. I can consume it first as well. If they recall, it's fine. Fine, bad, bad. Consume it first and then attack and then rally. Okay, it's fine. Still fine by us. Can use this one here. Can attack with this one. This and this. Now we rally again. Even though we have a double, triple stun on the board, we're fine by that. We still do a lot of damage. Yeah, we still do a lot of damage. And the quick attack actually kills them. Yeah. This one actually kills them. Should pull this one here. It, would, it wouldn't have mattered though. This is super. It's an inefficient way of rallying because we got triple stun, but it's fine because we got rid of their units on the board. As long as Storm Cage is on the board, we get to kill anything coming in, anyways. Yeah, see? We get to kill everything on the board as it is, anyway. He will have a lot of flexibility considering the fact that he actually gets a card that he consumes. Yeah, so that's actually a pretty nice combo to have. But it's slow, that's another problem. Disadvantage, the advantage and disadvantage. He absorbs the card to get the card, but it's, you need to mana you need mana to play the card again. The creative cast cost one less would be nice. He's taking a lot of damage as well. Spell shield. And more copies of him. I'll take this one. It costs one less. Okay, item chest, smooth solo. Smooth solo is okay. Priority obviously. Okay, spells costing one less. Game start again. Spe I think spell costing one less is even crazier. We don't have that many spells, but it's decent. Yeah, I like it. Spell costing one less is decent. Shop time. Let's see what we can get. A perfect series. Pretty disgusting. I'll take it. Uh, oh, Diana. This should be a disgustingly difficult fight. Not a disgustingly difficult fight. It should be difficult. They rally, and the rally is a problem for units that struggle to have. Uh, for decks that struggle to have units on the board. Okay. I'll take the I'll keep the heal for the time being. I can't use this one. If we get a tempo disadvantage against Dimasi, we're in a bad spot. <laughs> okay, our spells cost one less. So that's nice. Let's go three three right out the bat. I'll take the I'll take the hit. Or I can just do this. Not the most ideal thing to do, but it's fine. It's Dimasia, as, as long as I stabilize the board we'll be fine. Yeah, let's play this one first. And then play this. So I can chase after this one here. Okay. It's still actually pretty good because all of our units have overrun. So it doesn't even matter if I drag it like this. Yeah, the deck is doing pretty decent now. Even with low HP. But I'm just playing it much better than before. I'm just gonna play minion against that one. Yeah, because that thing attacks and dies, right? I'm gonna give up, give up a unit anyways. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna double up. I don't think going why uh, open attacking doesn't make mix that would be open attacking makes that big of a difference. Let me just do this. Just do this. I got quick attack on this guy. Super. I think that's enough. Yeah. Overall, everyone is pretty disgusting. I told you. Yeah, overall everyone is absolutely disgusting and for this squad, at least. They had pretty high damage from the start, it's just that they didn't have ways to go through the body. Okay. Cost two less. Plunder, that means that plunder this will be absolutely zero. I'll take it. Champion attachment and item, obviously champion attachment will get priority. Informal copy of this. One cost more, but it's gonna be a five nine. If a copy of Aatrox is also pretty good in my opinion. Yeah, he will double heal. He'll, he'll annoy him for four. Or we come here and do a full heal as it is. Like 100 gold for full heal. That's pretty nice. Okay, so this is a 1.5 star weekly challenge. The puppy fight with our two two star Tom Kench with one level one. Yeah, he's super new. 
This is actually the first path I'm actually doing pretty well with Tomkins. He normally sucks in other paths. That is the last path I tried. So there's no point of keeping heal because we are full HP. So we'll take the one mana and the two mana. We don't want Aatrox to be in our hand. Tomkins being perfect actually. So just split this. So that's why he grows because he survives the attack. It's a three mana, so we'll just play uh, this guy first. See what they do. We can, we can just do this. Okay, or we can do this. Yeah, I think doing that is better. Doing this here. So do this and do this. Actually, I could have played another unit. That was my bad. I missed a lot on damage there. Not a lot, but yeah. I'll play this one. You don't need to play minion. You, you want to play minion when you want to block stuff. But otherwise, play the others. It's their fight. Oh, the upper fixer is pretty nice. Don Kench here. With barriers, so Poppy can technically attack now. Oh, I can ease the... Oh, shit, yeah. Our yeah, CX cost one less. Spells cost one less. So just absorb him. Oh, oh, wow. You get champions as well. I didn't know that you get champions as well. I will take Poppy, obviously. So, you can get another Poppy as well. That's actually nasty. That is super nasty. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. 31 damage. There we go. Holy shit, that's just super nice. I didn't know you can copy champions. I thought it's only followers. Holy shit, Kinch is monster then. If you can grow him. Okay, so the 1.5 star uh, puppy challenge, the weekly challenge done with our 2 star Kinch. Let's see what we get. Should be a B, I think. Okay, okay, championship in power discussion. So the only common one attachment I have on him because he was level one was uh, Warmox armor giving him regeneration and later on in the path I gave him when I summon give him a barrier so that the first absorb that you consume that you do he will not take any damage because of the barrier. Moving on to the powers every game star around search give your weakest ally plus two plus in this round your spells cost one less which is pretty good because his consume will be one mana when you play him pretty decent you have a higher chance of playing him when you play him directly on a curve on the board all the laser warrants is extremely important because uh units do a lot of damage in this deck but majority of think a chump block so overall it helps a lot when you draw a card give all allies plus one this one it's decent because you'll always draw one card at the start of every game every round i mean so uh, all the units on the board will get plus one plus one as it is so it's a, a big decent buff to the attackers that is one one event um next power is uh, game start you draw two it's decent it helps get a storm kench because we don't have a legend level 20 power which helps us draw a champion as we don't have draw a champion auto uh drawing two cards at the start increases the probability of you getting a champion so that's pretty nice when you summon an ally give it plus one plus one this is not temporary but nevertheless pretty good these stat lines is always good especially for a squad that uh as you can see uh tom just one uh, level one star one star power is when an ally survives damage granted plus one plus one so that this temporary plus one plus one helps in getting uh value from this power and moving on to tom Kitch's two star power if we game such you get one extra mana and when you capture a unit create a copy of it in hand it costs one less a unit that means it can applies on champions as well well, and of course, I repeat uh, what I just said. This is Comkinch's one star power. Whenever an ally survives damage, granted plus one plus one. And that's about it. Okay, so this is the two star poppy challenge, the wiki challenge with our two star NAR. Let's do this. Yeah, so, okay, this week's, uh, this path's uh, mutators. When the four gains attack token, they summon a uh, sapling, which is nice, which is not nice, but it's fine. But this is what power is going to favor us, and this, that's the reason why I took NAR. Each round, the player's first Bandle City card. Uh, Cost one less. Pretty nice because now is a Vandal City card. That's that's super. Okay. With that being said, let's start. Okay. This is actually pretty nice. This will help us. His squad does hit face to a decent amount, I think. To a decent amount, yeah. So I'll take this one. Let's see how far he can push trading party. I don't know if he's gonna use it like the others. Like you know, not Jinx obviously, but yeah. I think his deck does have uh, face hitting capability see impact overrun okay so the first bandle city card costs one less so let's skip a turn and go to the two value instead of the one i can attack 
back to this one. I did spam uh, build over, so that means they can have burn spell, which is unlucky if they do. Oh, Saplin will also kill it. Take from the rich, give to me. Even with Saplin, he dies, so technically can't do anything. Oh, pass. I'm gonna actually block it. I'm gonna keep my dude alive. I'm just gonna go with this one. Actually, I can do this one right here. Uh, that's fine. Let's go next. Yeah, Paradactyl Storm, so. Tiny Dactyl Storm, so. Just do this, dish out the damage. Yeah, so these are all our raiding party combos. So now we will play Tiny Dactyl, Teeny Dactyl. And Teeny Dactyl should make it good for everyone because he's gonna hit the next and he's gonna hit the nexus every turn let's see what good ring oh no i got hit by raiding party super we'll play this get this one okay and you're expecting it to die dude uh, we'll play this. Okay, high block the highest damage dealers. This, this, and this. Uh, I'm gonna uh, use this one against this one so that uh, the uh, Poké Stick kills that one next turn. Super. All of them will uh, transform. I think raiding party was the right decision. Definitely, yeah. Raiding party definitely was the right decision. Okay, uh, we can full swing first, and then yeah, do, the, do this. Yeah, I think this is the right way to do it. Actually, yeah, this is the right way to do it. Okay. Even if I give this one this dice, right? So we'll just do, do, do this and do this soon. I don't want my bird to die. Teenage actually is probably the most important one here. It's Paradactyl, right? Pterodactyl, right? Teen Dactyl, Pterodactyl. Get this one. This will hit face and Pokey Stick will finish them off. Yeah, they have a lot of impact. So definitely, Raiding Party is a good spot to go for. A couple Pokey Stick. So there we go. They took it from us, so what? So there, there we go. Super nice. We took a lot of face damage, but we are getting used to it. I haven't played these decks that much, especially in our to be. He's level five, obviously. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Twelve damage though. Uh, okay. When an allied follower transforms into another unit, transform me into an exact copy of that unit. Uh, as it's transform synergy, I'll take it. It's not the worst. Support squad, let's see what we get. Anything that we can hit, hit, hit face, we'll take it. Um, Viego seems like a decent thing to go for. Viego's always been a staple power. Uh, yeah, being four and Viego being six is pretty nice. I'll take Viego. Not the greatest, but that's fine. Okay, heal, champion achievement, and uh, gold. Uh, I'm gonna go for, okay, which one is more dangerous? Oh, I don't want this, the shuffle stat line. Uh, I'm gonna go for the uh, champion achievement, I guess the middle one but portal sledge is less problematic than the other one other one st suffers the stat line it's problematic it can make it can like make it everything more painful okay playing uh, nakatok is not the best as i saw because transforming starts happening on turn four okay. just pass to see what they do it's might as well play nakatok right now if they don't block we get our free rating party stack so it's not stern already. Pass to see what they do. Pass to see what they do. I'm actually okay with it. I'll take this damage. It gives me the time to uh, summon Nar. Okay. So we can just play the crouching this now. I think I should play it next turn though. 
I could have to take out the yeah one. Or it's gonna be problematic for me. Okay. So he's not letting us his face, so we're just gonna use Poke Stick against face. I think even if I play this still say say zero, yeah. Yes. So the NAR levels uh transforms and levels up I mean. Super. Yeah, we need ways to life still uh okay. we're taking too much damage for support. Yeah, we'll play Gao and Soldier. So we have another block across the board. Unless he pulls something. Yeah. Oh, soldier. Okay, so block it like this. Block it like this. Block it like this. Block it like this. We let the yeah die. It's fine. I think we didn't give this one here as well. It's fine. Yeah, we'll let the thing die. It's fine. We're not too worried. The knock attack. Keeping Nakata alive is more important at the moment. Swing does so much damage as it is. Yes, Challenger as well. So just do this. 17, you can just give more stat line to these two. These two because they might die to one mana pings, that's why. Okay. That's much better. Yeah, and yeah, raiding party is definitely one of the powers they should go for. It's like a complementary for the squad. Four damage this time, it's fine. It will help us draw too. I'll take it. Because he yeah, gives it as well. Uh, Nar. Okay, we go for champion side. Champion regiment side. Okay. Spells is not the greatest. Challenger already have it. Parry is not the greatest. A uh, mysterious portal is something that I wouldn't mind having on Nar. Uh, okay, this is. When the four discards a card, they summon a flame jumpers. I don't want mushrooms. Mushroom does face damage. So might as well go for this side. Yeah, mushrooms and monkey idols and these are the types of fights that you don't wanna go into because they will always do face damage. It's either this or this. We we'll keep both of them, it's fine. Depending on the situation, I can play either one of them, yeah. And they directly attack to this annoying. Okay, let's play knock attack. I can play this and play in our next turn. Play this one. Spawn damage. Can't really attack now. Super unlucky. Oh, yeah, actually, that was actually crazy by them. Now I can attack. That, that will kill uh, that will kill our next turn just play this to uh, keep up with the tempo or else we take too, too much face damage Oh, super. Oh, I got a yeah, war chef. Go next. Okay. Let's do this. It's nice. Who's he doing going for a chef? Okay. Let's we'll just boost these two up. Then they survive and they kill them as well. But this this jumper fight is more difficult than I remember it to be. And this. Like this. Nothing's transforming, but I just want to keep have a wider board against them. I super have a portal on our side. As long as we have units to match their units. Oh, it's fine. Let it die. We will replace a unit, which is this one, basically, because it's, a, it's uh, fleeting anyways, right? We are okay with the entire, entire trade, yeah. Because we are just going to do this. Keep Nakotak alive, I think. 
Oh, it's Nakata. Keep Nakata alive and play our uh... No. So play Nar. There we go. All of both of them level up. Uh, transform, I mean. Now this is that now we just have to go wider. The same way. Teen Actors won. Let's play Teen Actors first. To see what they play. Giving us a draw, it's nice. Then play this guy. This is gonna be we have two pterodactyls on the board. Let's just do it like this. I see you on the board is this one. It should be fine. This thing is gonna tra transform into the ter pterodactyl. This actually very nice. Yeah, two pterodactyls on the board. Super. With seven impact on them. Eight party. Mm. Yeah, this is actually fine. I don't actually mind using uh yeah now. He's he has done his job. No lack of talk. We just need to play stuff on the board. Our hand is getting super clocky. Yeah. A double, a double draw on the Poké Sticks were not a good idea. It's blocking our hand super now. I'm still not 10 minutes uh. This is fine, I think. Actually, no, this is fine. Max damage across the board, I think. Yeah, max damage across the board. 52. Yeah, they have so much impact. Yeah, they have too much impact. The, the transform dudes. It's, it gives me the vi yeah, vibe. Uh, vibe. Vi is also uh, impact synergy. Oh, damn. We took so much damage. Holy shit. Uh, this girl's damage goes up. So I'll take it. I'll take a little reroll here. I'll take more HP on the main units. Uh, shop. Chest. Shop will get priority. Get plus one plus one for the time I played and take a full heal here. Yeah, I think this is absolutely definitely worth it. Yeah, 150 for a full heal is done. Definitely worth it. We still have enough gold for a uh, rare power. Okay, so face off against Fiora. Yeah, Fiora should be a little problematic. We don't have any kill spells, but we have a lot of stun spells. So that means that Fiora will technically never get stacks when she's attacking because of Pokey Stick. Not Pokey Stick. Gallop. Not Gallop. Wallop. Gallop. Ugh. Fear is coming on turn six. I'm actually here. Uh, I think I'll let the damage. The reason why I'm letting it go through is because if I play this, Nakotak takes damage from the Yawa. Nakotak takes damage from the saplings, and that sapling dies anyways, right? Yeah. So I will swing to dish out the damage. If they block, I'll take the block for free. It's fine. Might as well play this and get this guy ready for a transform coming in next turn. Because we have a wall up on our side as it is. So I'll just directly stun it. I don't have to wait. Okay. I think I should have waited then. <laughs> I should have waited. I think I just kill him directly. Ah, oh, I forgot that it gives stuff as well. I'm losing a lot of value for support. That's fine, I'll take it. Let this one. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes here. Without a doubt. It's all right. I Just transform. They're not attacked with anything right now. 
so Nagorak has done his job. He's giving plus one, plus one as well as heal to them. For the glory of Demacia. That's a lot of things coming in at us at the end. Uh, we'll just play a zero mana one. All of them get barrier, yeah. Whoever challenges, I mean. Just keep this one. Block that one. Blocking Fury is the most important one. The rest of them doesn't really make a deck difference. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's here. This is a clutch moment for him to be coming on the hand. This is going to technically suck. Okay. Alright. So just wallop him out of the hand. You gotta wallop every turn, right? Round circuit a wallop in half. Holy shit, that's broken in my opinion. Super. It's actually another version of yeah, Kindred spell. Like Kindred gets Spirit Journey, right? And he gets Wallop. Wallop is way more dangerous. That means that something big will never be able to attack from your side. You just have to block him. Or oh, yeah, dies, but it's fine. And Viego starts leveling up now. Viego's level up means it's lethal as it is. So just do this to draw two. Yes. Dude has impact five on him. Impact six on him. Okay. Challenger is in the combat. Okay. Doesn't help. I'm just gonna wall up his ass back. Now we can actually swing with everything. I'm just gonna give this to this guy. Super. Goes to five. Still can be blocked by that one, so might as well just take this one. Yeah, this is actually super everything about it. That's nice. 21, there we go. Holy shit, what a great performance, yeah. That's super from Nar. And Viego being clutch. Yeah, Viego being Viego. Yeah, this is actually Nar is actually super stable. He takes he takes damage, but yeah, he's super stable as well. Yeah, we did. He left 12 damage is fine. We heal back for full so That's pretty decent. My supported ally gets my keywords. This why don't they give this one to yeah Nar? He gets quick attack challenger, so he basically give quick uh quick attack at least. Draw to feral since it's something disgusting. I would take it. Okay. When the four attacks, they summon a flame chomper challenging the player's strongest unit. Okay. What's this? Champion attachment. Item, obviously. Champion attachment will get priority. Overwhelm, grumpy rock players should would be normally problematic. But for the fact that we have wallop coming in every turn, if we stabilize the board, we'll be fine. We just want a small unit and knock attack at the start. No knock attack, but we got Hydra Vine, which is bad for us, technically. We'll just play our transforming unit. Okay. Let's spell several senses first. Obviously, yeah, we'll get priority. We'll play this. We'll attack. Dish other two damage. They'll take the block. They will, ta they will take the block because they wouldn't want. They wouldn't want to uh, let this guy transform. I'll just play this one. Which one is he gonna pull? Oh, it's fine. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, I'm just gonna transform. I'm gonna predict first to see what we can get. Uh, I think I don't like any of them. So I'll just, just take this and hit the face and transform this guy and also draw what we ever predicted right now. Super. Okay. 
let's see what we get okay transform the dude but technically we don't have any transform so we'll just swing and get the damage in They get that. Predict to guess see what we can get. Something of transform nature. Uh actually I don't like any of them right now. Nakarok is too late, so we'll just skip. Yeah, Nakarok is too late. Keep this guy stabilized on the board so we can get teeny dactyl or we can transform it in teeny dactyl. Okay. Another grumpy pair. We'll just play this one. This can actually trade into that one. Super. Okay, it's pulling with that one though. Okay. So I'll just try boost HP here and block it here. Super. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And I think I'll just get Viego. Not, uh, not that it matters there. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. If I get it now, I want to get it next turn. Definitely play Viego. So the deaths of units on the board will actually make a difference. Now we can just start attack with everything. Okay. I think I'll give two here. Two here. This guy dies and gives us a uh, encrouching mist. Uh, predict to see what we can get. Again, another transform. Well, another transform is also fine. Uh, a moment will come when we will get something good. Everybody on the board getting impact is no joke. I'm just gonna play my yeah. Uh, Hydra Vine. Yeah, it's super problematic for them to deal with. That's the reason why yeah is so strong. I'll take it. It's giving me another stack as well. I think he leveled up, right? Yeah, he leveled up. Diego leveled up. Uh, no, a little late, but it's fine. Now, Viego st after Viego levels up, it's so difficult to win. For them, I mean. I'll just attack with everything. So much firepower coming in as it is. 31 damage. There we go. They didn't, didn't even need Nar or Nakotok. Just, just pay, uh, Viego things happening. Yeah, the stats of the... Nar squads is high as it is. Those, this, so they contribute towards Viego level up pretty well. This one is actually pretty good. It's played for free. I'll take it up. A free revive is no joke. Attack for free. Other mysterious portal. I'll take it. Two mysterious portal and Nar alone. Let's see what we can get. A uh, slow and steady. We don't do we have, do we have slow spells. We don't have any slow spells in the deck, so playing this is a bad idea. Take a reroll here. Oh, I get another reroll here. If someone gets random keyword. I'll take that though. Ooh, red path, super. It's red path, a shop versus a red path. I'm gonna go for the red path. The red path it means free power, and the shop means that you have to buy a power. And I don't have any reroll, so that's very bad. Mirror image. Okay, we got pretty good squad, right? Yeah. This is a nice hand. And now it actually directly gives two portals in the start of the game. Or do we, do we get it when you play him? Yeah, you, you get it when you play him. Now look look at this, eight portals. That means there are at least four Nars in the deck. Okay. Let me stick. I don't want to play into anything, right? Let them attack. That's problematic. Let's just block them. That's super pain, dude. Seven damage to face. For absolutely nothing. Get this one as well. Oh, we got life steal super. 
split this one. He got faded. Mm, I'll take this one. He gets plus two, plus two. I don't know. I don't need to attack with him. Actually, he can. If fearsome. I want to get rid of this guy for obvious reasons. Wait, we're transforming anyways. Why would we want to poke a stick now? You would want to poke a stick next turn. This take do it stays zero by the way. It won't change. I might play Cavern Soldier for a wider defender board. Okay, he's actually going for this one. Super actually, very good for us. I'll just play this one. They did die, it's fine by us. Let's play this one. Play this one. Hit face so that the teeny Dactyl activates. We'll get double portal on the board, nice. And try and predict. Uh, I get Viego. Because we, we because we are moving into six mana territory, so might as well Diego will get more value out of it. Coming in Nar eight eight super. You got hit by raiding party. That's fine. Uh. And this should be fine. Super twenty damage. Now this will also bring out Nar. Oh, let's predict to see what we can get. Uh, I'll take Pokestick. Pokestick is going to refill our hands so much. Pokestick's two draw, not one. We'll get a Nar back. Okay, it's fine. He's giving board space for VO to come on the board. Us. You predict. Get another Nar. And just hit face so everyone gets impact. Every time we hit the Nexus, everyone on the board gets impact. I don't need the. Yeah, I don't need the portals. That's a lot of damage. There we go. Super. 37 damage. Yeah. The deck is finally working together. But yeah. Oh, dude. I don't know if this is going to be stable for the upper levels though. It's pretty good. They're pretty good. It's an impact heavy deck. Do my cause by the cost of your most expensive ally. I'll take it. Playing cheaper Hydravan is no joke. Stone City is obviously horrible. When you summon an ally to one to the Nexus, it's a disgusting thing. We can we don't we don't even need to do anything for activating uh the transform now. Okay, we'll take a full heal because uh, you know there's zero point of having the gold. And we'll go up against the two-star uh Lulu challenge, the weekly challenge with our two-star NAR level five. Yeah. So now that the moment we play a unit, we automatically get a yeah, hit. Transform hit. You don't need so many of these. Is it spell or unit? When you summon an ally, yeah. Just summon an ally and we get the transform in. I think I can't play this. This will die to that. Yeah. I don't necessarily want to give value to that dude. Got elusive. Let's see what we can get. I have two of this. <laughs> Fine, I'll take two of this. If we can sacrifice Snar next turn, it would be hilarious. Oh, Lulu is coming. Whoa, meet Lulu. Lulu, 
Let's only just do this. Can't do anything. Let's predict this is be good. Yeah, our soldier is pretty good because they're gonna attack with Luna next turn, right? Just let it go through. We will sacrifice our Nard this turn. So we get two Nards next turn. Oh, that's a very good combo. And Black Arrow also does a double unit to block. Oh, each of them hit the face. Uh, super. Still block it like this. We're okay with this trade because we're just gonna revive now with the uh, things. I, I should have played this one turn earlier. The Narn would Narn would have come come out next turn. Okay, let's predict to see what we get. We have another Nar. Oh, Vigo is a little late though. Yeah, Vigo is a little late. I might as well play. How many portals did I get to? Super. Play Nar. Swing, get everything. Score like a plus one, plus one. Plus we get like super. Very recall, my by us. Actually, I can just do this. Wallop is more important, I think. Super, both of them will be Nars. These two. Double triple not on the board, crazy. Oh, uh, play next. Yeah, let them kill the thing, then it'll be teeny deck down. Nice, nice. We'll just swing and finish them off. Oh, teeny deck is transform. I think that should be fine. Triple Nar. Super. Yeah, zero mana haunted tomb is absolute crazy value. You can play it any moment you want and you'll get value out of it. You can just keep it in your hand and play it after a unit dies. A big unit, big ally dies and you get value out of it. Okay, so the two star um Lulu challenge, the wicked challenge done with our two star Nar. Let's see what we get. Okay, uh, champion achievement power discussion time. So the only one common achievement I have on him because he's low level is challenger. So he's a four mana quick attack challenger. Uh, then I gave, then I attached him a Nora's tree, then another Nora's tree. So here are two Nora's tree. So the one copy of Nar in your deck would provide two portals at the start of the game. And of course, then bond, uh, bonded bucklers giving my supported ally plus one plus one and my keyword. So basically, he will give the quick attack, not a challenger because uh, the challenger is given when the attack is declared. So the the supported ally. Only only gets uh, quick attack, not challenger, but still pretty good. Giving a free unit on the big, decent unit on the board, quick attack is always very beneficial. Moving on to the powers, when you summon an ally, deal one to the enemy, it's an absolutely gorgeous power because majority of Nar synergy act uh, revolves around hitting the Nexus every round. So having this power means you will auto hit the Nexus the moment you play a unit. And transform units require you to hit the Nexus. So you just play an ally, it will hit the Nexus and it will auto transform at the end of the round. Pretty nice. The next power is when you summon an ally, grant a random keyword, always a great power to have because if you get life seal or keyword, the, those two keywords alone can win you the game. Uh, Feral senses gives you uh, feral presence in the uh, hand uh, fleeting it gives you a fle co fleeting copy of it in the start of your every round in your hand that will allow you to predict whatever cards you want that you will draw next round or if you have a draw you can draw it right now pretty good for it's it's, it's pretty crazy for people who can like uh, predict and uh, strategize the thing in a sequence it's pretty nice moving on the next power is rush them down when you summon an ally give it a uh, plus one plus on this turn a temporary boost of stat line uh, when you summon is not the worst it's temporary but still it has a lot of value especially for units that transform has minimum mi uh, low or to medium hp before they transform so they can have their higher chance of survival 
surviving till they level up or transform that is moving on to the next power which is raiding party an absolute gorgeous power a must power in this squad because this squad has a lot of impact synergy so you will hit the enemy, enemy nexus even if they if they don't uh, have over to hit to the body the impact itself will hit the nexus and if you get over and an impact together this will be an absolute disgusting monster combo uh, moving on to the next power which is our nars two star power if we game such you could one extra mana and an answer create a wallop in hand if you already have one reduce this cost by one wallop is basically the stun card of a uh, signature spell of uh, nar moving on to the next power is nars one star power round and if you damage the enemy nexus this round grant your allies impact all of them on the board and they're pretty crazy that's why the this power when you summon an ally deal one to the enemy nexus is so good in this deck with that being said that's about it okay so this is a three star yasopath the weekly challenge with our two star jacks let's do this yeah okay look let's look at the mutators what the hell with the mutators, mutators go okay so all allies have 10 extra hp one extra mana and one extra card in their hand round start grand the strong uh the force units zero plus one basically galio's pets power all of them grow by hp every round end and when a unit dies grant a random unit in that player's hand plus one plus one so every time a unit dies on the board that player gets plus one plus one to a random unit on the or uh, to a random unit in their hand i'll give him from copy your double jacks is on the board would be pretty badass and any other champion that we might get yeah so three star versus two star should be a little problematic plus uh, yeah jacks is a little slow not slow per se, Jax is a little low level. He's like level 5, I think. So we have 2, 3, which is bad. We need 1, 2 mana, which they think we're getting it. So we skip turn 1. Might be problematic. It's a temporary buff, so it's not that bad. And I should have got this last turn. Okay. Uh, we just do this. Or take this so I can block that one. I'll definitely block this one. This guy grows the others to stay the way that it is, so it's pretty good value here. We'll go next, we play our cook. They're going by HP, so that's a little problematic. I'm definitely gonna take a scout. Scout attack first. Damage, pretty good. Shut the damage. Just looking out for the public. So I'll just do this one here. Take the entire trade. Fine by us. We'll just uh, transform the scout equipment to other. Okay, let's look at the power. I forgot what Jax's power is. Uh, when an equip ally dies, draw one. Allies attack, grant me plus one. If your equip ally attacks, grant my equipment plus one. Okay. Uh, I'll play this one for the time being. Let's do small menus for the time being. I'll take the hits. I don't mind. But they draw a lot. Mm, I'll take quick attack. And I'll just give this one here. Super. Okay, Jax is leveled up so fast. Okay, so definitely play Jax leveled up. A thousand years of battle and I'm just warming up. But Aketia goes to the other dude. Block, block. All of them equipment, so we don't need to play this one. We might as well play this. Obviously, mana. So who has the equipment? Okay, the real Jax doesn't have an equipment. And he doesn't have yeah as well, so might as well give it to the real Jax. Oh, both of them will actually get Statlan, I think. Yeah, both of them will get. Holy shit. There we go. Super. Both of them impact, so. When I say impact, I mean overwhelm. Okay. But Jax is pretty badass, yeah. This is actually a demonstration because Jax doesn't even have anyone supporting. That's why he's so good. Without a support squad, if your dudes performs this well, then they are genuinely a good deck. I will give another equipment. Why not? Not the greatest, but still. Mm, okay, so Malphite is a little expensive. We'll take a reroll here. 
Soraka is not the greatest, so we'll take another reroll here. I'll take uh Swain. Uh shop we get priority, so we'll go for the shop. So the reason why I took Swain is because if I can if I can give impact to Swain, Swain would be an absolute beast. Okay, two, three. I'll keep an equipment for the time being, but I don't want others. I especially want an equipment, but well, let's throw this one on. I want a two mana unit. I have a three mana player. Yeah, I just need a two mana unit. This girl has barrier, so definitely don't want to play her this round. Unless they play something big. And now I can play this one. Because that will cancel their attack. They will not attack into a barrier unit. It's actually very good then for us. Oh, there are. I'll take the damage. I'll take the trade, obviously. I get value of barrier. Like full value of barrier. We'll play our uh, castaway, see what we can get. Over him or I at the moment would take this one. I want to have a, this guy I want this guy to have a little bit of more force. When I say force I mean <laughs> yeah means to survive. Mm. Okay. Bring up stuff. We'll just use this one here. If they don't break, they'll burn. Just got rid towards Swain's level up. Can't really deal with that. I'm gonna take the three damage, it's fine. Take this one instead. And I'll just give it to this girl. I might actually start growing the guy with the impact. How many got stun? Stun, 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 stun. Triple stun, actually. I might as well just go wider than uh, obviously mana is absolutely great value so one damage to everything this guy will die un unfortunately okay get like this one and then give one to any one of them three pull no one only he has a three pull so let's just do it like this. Uh, uh, grow to match health my uh, grow my health to match my power would be an absolute monstrous power for this squad to have. So it is here, super. Whenever an equipment dies, we draw. So that's pretty nice. He has refill synergy as well. So we play Swain and grow him on the board. We don't have to play. Uh, okay, yeah, true, true. If I play Swain right now, I'm gonna get another copy of Swain. That's actually bad. I'm gonna play, yeah. I'm gonna play this and give Swain overall next turn. Like I, because I can trade out like a Light of a Kit here. Because if I'm a copy, we'll get Light, uh, right, light of a Kit. Right of a, uh, light of a Kit here. Uh, give it to the, our... Actually, give it to our... This original, our real... Yeah. Oh, they're all of them over wrong. Okay, it's fine. We'll just do this. So it doesn't help us that much. Yeah, it doesn't help us that much. We'll just go next. Lights out. See, I can give light of get the to yeah, swing. So play this one. Super. Staking our ear yeah, out. Can't really do anything about that. So he doesn't have a weapon, but I will give him a weapon. So this one here. Surely he, he can level up. He's a little short though. Let's just give it here. Oh yeah, all of them are yeah, over yeah, fearsome. I think this was a chance on him. Yeah, there we go. Super. No, none of them have fearsome blocker other than the this one. But yeah, levels up after the hit. This one and the next one levels him up. This strike levels him up. This strike levels him up. Oh, this strike levels him up. Ah, oh, we're so close. Oh, none of them level him up. What? 
The leveling up Swain is gonna be very difficult. I thought at least one of them would level him up. Actually, I could have just killed this and leveled him up. <laughs> no, I forgot that flock applies on things that are stunned. That was super bad. I would have won easily there. Ugh. How can I help? Can't believe I just did that. Hey, we just scout. I'll just give it here. Take this one here. Uh, lock. 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 Yeah, we took unnecessary two damage. We could have just finished the game off in that game. In that round. Everybody has a weapon except this guy, girl. Just do this. Levels him up. And we can swing and finish them off. Yeah, I played it super sloppy. I could have made it I could have made such much such better plays across the board. Such much. You can just do this as well. He already has it. What am I doing, dude? Yeah, I forgot about the fact that he level up only gives him impact. Yeah, making a lot of misplays is fine. It's about me not playing him at all. I will break them. Actually, this is still the right way to do it because he has quicker recoil, so he would have died. He is super. Jax is super strong. Like, he's disgustingly strong. He has firepower and he also has ways to refill his hand. Draw one. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Her hit gives us a draw one. Enemies at minus one. Actually, that's actually pretty good. Because Swain has fearsome, so lower probability of blocking Swain. I'll take this one. There's a shop here too, yeah. If I buy that one, I won't be able to get the shop power. 120 gold is a lot though. And it does one damage. One damage towards Swain's level up is horrible. We need better yet than that. Okay, this is stun. I don't like stun synergy, so I'm just gonna go with the Citria path. Yeah, Citria path is much, much manageable. Stun is problematic. We want to hit with as many companions as possible, as fast as possible. Mm. I don't want to keep this girl because this girl requires uh, another unit to get value, so... I don't want to be a... I don't want to play a dependent unit on... I don't want to keep a dependent unit in my hand. I'll play this one. Cut them for our God. Um, I'm gonna take a two damage, yeah. So the loading that I call it helps a lot. I'm just gonna play my uh, Jax. Jax has value because he will summon a formal copy. Only this guy has it, yeah. Okay, only that guy has, okay. So Cithria's power is when one of the force units kills a unit and survives, transforming into the thing, okay. Let me change up my style. Let's just do this. This one technically doesn't kill it because it dies to Infamoral. Right, but the, the growing of HP is painful. Yeah, I'm gonna give catch to him. I don't want it to grow into the next Cithria. It's super painful if it did. I'll just give it here. Go next. I'm just... Oh, that got impact. Uh, tough, I mean. It's fine. We are super close to death, but... We're okay with that. Get this one here. Can't block, but he will have a lot of damage. Actually, a lot of damage is crazy at the moment. If he doesn't have a three attack power unit, yeah, yeah, they don't have a two attack power unit. That's super. 
Let's do this. Let's do this. This can't be blocked because it's fearsome. Super. So Jax has leveled up. I was actually afraid of that, by the way. That they would have that. So might as well just take this one. Oh yeah, I can just do this. God. I actually have to sacrifice. They will have double C3 on the board, dude. I might as well, yeah. It's fine. They have what they have. the quick one over a month quick attack how to quick attack this will grow it's problematic but it's fine if i play swain i won't be able to play the com uh, combo yeah might as well play this one scout is pretty nice Just take him. Just dish out the damage so I can take out with this one. No dessert, so. Just do this. 13 damage, yeah. That's a lot of damage. Okay, barrier. He's gonna go to the next Citria. Next Citria is the cloud one, right? You take it out because it will transform if I didn't do that. She still transform, right? Oh yeah, platform. Okay. I'm actually here. Lady of the Clouds, still not cloud born. I'm okay with this one. I'm okay with this actually. One damage. Kill that one. Yeah, play our swing now. Swing scout. Empire above all. Sixty-nine, nice. Not all, yeah. But we play this one. Does one need to kill, or that unit itself needs to kill? Yeah, that unit itself needs to kill. They can't block it. Fearsome. Super. Nice. I, I I don't even remember when was the last time I let a Citria go to Cloud, Lady of the Clouds. A ah, little pain. That's fine. It took so much damage. Holy shit. Uh, I'll take a reroll here. It's just weird. Dragon Nia yeah, is pretty good. I don't want that. Shop is what I want to go for. Afterlife. If I buy this, I won't be able to. Actually, I still be able to do it. I'll do this go and do a full heal for sure yeah full heal a must use all our gold up to get a full heal and go to poppy there's no way i'm gonna be poppy with six okay. hp but i could have taken the risk i could have 525 is actually fine i'm gonna throw you one of this but i'm gonna keep the three four five that's bad just need a one mana that's actually a pretty good clutch uh, let's give, we have fearsome, so let's just give over him. Let's just dish out the damage. Super. Pop is coming next turn, thank you. His attack power going down is actually a lot. Let's see what we can get. Obviously this. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take 8 damage. Man. It's a boss fight to get our HU back. Chucks is pretty good. You don't have to shout bonk every time you hit someone. You should try it. Bonk, bonk. See? <laughs> Fun. Any takers? Actually, this is pretty painful. I might as well take a trade here. Jack levels up, super. Years of battle and I'm just warming up. 
you just have to go, uh, go up against the number of units going up against them. We have to match their tempo, that's it. But the most problematic is this guy actually, more than Poppy, because this guy is giving yeah quick attack to everyone. Yeah, super pain. Block that one. Twelve damage. I'll take twelve damage. It's fine. We're gonna double jacks, right? We're gonna double jacks again. Oh, we got doubles, triple swing. Pepper. We are at war. Take that because I went to the side. That's to reel it in. I should have walked with this entire hit. But this thing happens later, not before the thing goes through. He dies anyways. It's fine. I'll take this guy out. This is the more problematic dude to deal with. He's giving everyone quick attack. That's super pain. Let's get out the quick attack dude. Yeah. That's the only thing that we technically care about. So let's give this one to uh, yeah. Let's give this one to this one. Another one to this one. And next one, if they develop, then we have a chance to hit the thing and hit face and block Poppy. If they don't full swing, yeah, hit Poppy. It's fine by us. That's actually good for us. They're giving us a chance. Because we can just do this. And now Poppy will get stunned. Super. They lose a lot of value because of that. Luck. 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 Four damage to face. How do I do it now? Let's like, go play the dragon. This mama is the beast like this mama. I still a lot of damage coming from our side if you think about it. Poppy is the only problem. The one thing that we needed was to a way to hit face. That's the only thing we cared about at the moment. I think I should just open attack, yeah. If we try to do anything else, it'd be a serious trouble right now. We'll get our legs in. Let me just do this then. We have to attack because if they had a poppy spell, we'd be in a bad spot. We'll just do that. Okay, we'll just do this. Take poppy out. You can fix anything with anything. I'll prove it. It's actually bad. We don't have ways to answer the third one. If they open attack, we die. Actually, no, we don't die. Actually, we do die. Now nah, we survive with one HP. We survive with like one HP. Each person doesn't have a weapon. If you get another unit to block, then block. 
block, 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 block. Wait, block, block, and do this. So we're going to do HP. There we go. Holy shit, we almost died there. Oh god. Yeah, the couple of misplays. To admit that. And but haunted tomb saved us. We are at war. Just should have finished it off. There we go. Holy shit, so we're gonna 2 HP. So there's no way we would have survived if we came with this fight at 6 HP. Go back to full HP, so that's pretty good. Okay, strike deal to draw one. I'll take it. There are two uh, jaxes, so you get two draws. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, plus one, plus one to the first time you summon. Go to the red path. Get my free power there. And Jax being in the earlier part of the game in my hand is pretty good. He will have double uh, plus one, plus one extra, plus two draws on him. I'll throw this away. Throw this away as well. I have an early game. So I want to pressure early and stuff, which he technically didn't get. Split this one. Wanna line up for your beat downs or go all at once? I can use against this one and block it next turn. Should have dragged it. It wouldn't matter yet. They put it in front anyways. Super. You gotta attack Jax next turn anyway. Jax next attacking turn. Double Jax next attacking turn. So definitely gonna flock that one. This will prevent them from attacking. Man, I want is pretty nice. Oh, they're gonna get value out of it. They're gonna get double that. Yeah, I should have just flocked it. Yeah, definitely should have flocked it. Just get rid of it. Yeah, should, my mess, my mistake. Should have done it right off the bat. You get double jacks again. I think I'm just gonna play this one. Bam. If they use anything to kill it, we're also okay with that. Never yeah, okay with that. Get a free draw, anyways. For while attacking, not before attacking. Don't wanna attack with this girl. Uh, high HP here, high HP here. That should be fine. Jax will level up here. I think the order was wrong. It should be far right. He would have overall. Yeah, he would have overall. So there's a misplay there, yeah. I haven't played him enough to run the combos properly. Our hand is also getting clocked. Yeah. So we're gonna burn next turn. Super unlucky. Not the worst. Swain is probably not the right way to go. You have to go wider than they do. Swain is at four. Swain is at six. The wolf. Fear surviving. Okay. Now we can play Swain. I know I burned that out, but it's fine by me. What weapon does he have? Okay, refill mana. Take it. This one has fearsome. Bury me at sea. Ah, what did we lose? The light of KTA is here. Ah, old faithful. Okay. He has already fearsome, so that doesn't make a difference. But fearsome coming in here would make a difference. Block, 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 block. Pull with this one. This is dying. This is fine. Super. Pretty good. 
Yeah, we're, our hand is super clogged. Yeah, giving draw to... Giving draw is bad in this deck. At least now we are finding out. We're burning so much. Just take it out. Yeah, don't give draw to Jax. Jax already has some immun crazy like, massive level of draws. Burning everything left and right. Ugh. Okay, we should just swing with Jax. Pull in, let's swing with Swain. Yes, Overman as it is. Give it more though. Nah, it's fine. Perish. Should be fine. Nah, it's not fine. We can pull with this one, I guess. Oh, yeah, I can pull it with this one. Yeah, worried about that. There we go. Nineteen damage. Super. I will. Got our dragon in, and we're burning everything. What cards do I have left? Seven cards left. Yeah, I have to be super careful. I'm gonna actually get milled out. It's too fearsome to him. And to this guy. And go next. I'm just gonna do this. For the Empire. The few for the many. The few for the many. Did this one? Yeah. Two damage you just uh flock it. Duty Empire. Did this one, it's this one. Just use it as damage. Pluck it, and then we go. We will always have one extra attacker than they do. Not for the fact that Swain can pull that girl. So next. So we don't have to. Never mind. We don't have to do this. Just do this. There we go. Super. So much damage from Swain alone is coming in. There we go. We almost burned out our entire hand. Four cards left. Yeah. It'll be a little wary of how we use it. We can mail out. Yeah, but it was a red path, so yeah, it's supposed to be a little tight. Okay. Summon a random four cost. What are the four cost champions in the deck? In the in the game? I don't really remember. If Wayne Twain is there though, I'll take it. Can I fly 5 plus this round? It might be actually pretty clutch on Jax and Neswain. We do a lot of face damage as it is. Grow my power to match my health. If it was my health to match my power, I would take it. So I'm not gonna use my reroll because there's a yeah coming in. So I'm just gonna take this. Surviving I guess plus one plus one. I'll take surviving I guess plus one plus one. I would use a reroll here, might as well. Rally everyone is something disgusting, I'll take it. There's another shop here. Oh, Smooth Solo is this here as well. So we go for this side. Obviously. Champion Archman chest and Smooth Solo is Smooth Solo is the priority. I don't think I will have enough gold to buy a rare. I have 130, that means I will have max 200 plus. Yeah. Mm, I'll do this. This is fine. Two, three. Nice. I'll block it with our yeah. Sometimes you're the fish. Sometimes you're the bait. Then attack every turn. So super. Yeah, rally red on is gonna be pain. Okay, okay, uh, crazy for us. When the Soma summons a unit, recall one of the players follows that with less attack power. Less attack power. Highly uh, highly likely that I will have less attack power. So might as well grow this girl even more. So I'm satisfied by us. Get me a sweet bun. 
the senses. I might as well take this one out. As long as we disrupt their tempo, I'm okay with that. <laughs> All my ally, enemies at minus one is also doing crazy for us. Yeah. Just give it to them. Is that drinking the branches of my bones? You'll thank me later. I'll just take the thing in. I should have killed that one. Yeah. I could get double value out of this car. Okay, six damage to face. Might as well take the damage and let's might as well take the swap the tempo in our side. What would you wish to learn? If they don't break, they'll burn. The few for the many. Swinging songs leveled up. Remember the objectives. And that should level him up. Might as well just give it to her. So she doesn't get recalled next turn. Jax is here. I'm gonna up with that. That's fine, we have this. Ten. Need a weapon. Routes closed. Ten damage is fine. We'll do our full heal if we have, if we have the money. That is. Chax has leveled up. That's nice. We just go wider than they do, because they lose everything in their hand. Burning so much. We need mana. Catch and release only. Do you kill everyone you beat? And then get this one here. For the glory of Noxus. And then do this. How does he die? Oh, light of Akita is not on him. That's fine. That's fine. I think I'll still take the trade. I'll stick to the still take the trade. It's a lot of damage being pressured. If they do take the positive tape, that is. Yeah, we we are burning two cards left and right. Ah, that, that's not something that I wanted. I didn't want to lose. Your sounds fine. This Remember one. the objectives. The few for the many. Just flock this one and swing in. We have more units than they do. And now I'm gonna give light up a kit here. Swing. Just give it here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This ain't just a land. There we go. Super. Nice, holy shit. That was a little brutal. Yeah, the triple thing was pain. Not gonna lie. And I don't have interactive spells, so it's not fast speed. Okay, pretty nice. 12 damage to face. Oh shit, 28 damage. 18 damage to face. I'll take this one. This is pretty badass. Let's see what we get. Small soloist. Okay. So if I buy this, first of all, I can technically buy this and I'm not going to buy these. So these are horrible. Okay. So why as well skip the, take the gold, go next and take a full heal. Yeah. You don't have to take the powerful sick of taking a power. I can take a, I could have used a reroll, but it's fine. I think this is safer for us to take a full heal and go up against Yasuo. I don't have, I don't have any revives left. So I don't, I don't have any revives. Jax is too low. He's level 6, so I had no revives. It's might as well much better to take this one. Yeah. So this is a 3 star Yasuo fight, the weekly challenge. Let's do this. Stun the strongest enemy, right? When the 4 heroes attack, stun the weakest, stars, weakest unit and the 4 draws one. It's not the stun the strongest enemy. I go with a road 
takes me. My heroic last stands never seem to stick. I face my mind kind of less. Weapon roulette. I will take the trade trade. Getting rid of Yasuo is crazy. At the start, I mean. This one got a bigger stat one. Get this one first. I think I'm just gonna take this trade. Yeah, this is actually a thousand times better, in my opinion. The second Yasuo is going down. Bang the man and go next. Get this one. Think you can fish up something to eat after this battle? Catch and release only. Do you mm, kill everyone you fine. Can? Remember the objective. Make the empire. Dish out the damage and survive. Oh, they have a wider hit on us. We'll just do this. Then. <laughs> Minus one attack power. Stun fine. Saving their dude. We'll play our cook. I'm gonna give light of a kitty at burst speed. Obviously, mana. We call this one. Oh, that one. Fine by us. Underestimate. I dare you. Weapon roulette. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This ain't just a land. There we go. Super. So I can do this one here or something. This will die and keep the the unit will get the equipment. So that we're taking not technically not losing any tempo. Definitely gonna burn shit across the board though. They lost to Yasuo, that was the problem. They played Yasuo's too fast. The wind. So this is not this is not gonna be a turn when I'm gonna uh I'm gonna play I'm gonna attack. Next turn is when I'm gonna attack because we got double blocked anyways. I'll just take the I just take the seven damage, it's fine. Next turn is where we're gonna do the massive damage. Oh, uh, nah, yeah, yeah, that's the right thing. We're not attacking right, last turn is the right thing. Then now we can do this. We can do some massive hit across the board. There we go, yeah. Taking the hit last turn was the right decision. Wider attack for us. Yeah. Them losing Yasuo, <laughs> two Yasuos in the first two turns are the worst thing ever for them. Because it would have been difficult if the Yasuo, if there was a Yasuo on the board and we constantly got stunned. Anyways, the three-star weekly challenge, the Yasuo pad done with our two-star jacks. Let's see what we get. Uh, B, okay, champion achievement power discussion time. So the common attachment I have on my I jacks because he was low level, because he is low level, is challenger. And later on, I give interesting lure, giving him a strike, draw one. That's about it for the attachment. Moving on to the powers. Uh, round uh, start rally, extremely important because uh Jax is somewhat of an aggressive squad so having a rally every round makes a very big difference allies that survive uh damage gets plus one plus one it's decent power it's uh it's okay for few other uh, cards that does, doesn't have quick attack but majority of them do hit in a way that they don't take any damage so this doesn't really benefit that one but few of them do so it's also okay when you summon an ally give it plus one plus one actually does make a difference at aggro squad we play early game and one one saturday though when you play play them early and attack with them will make a very big difference haunted team was an absolute clutch because especially with uh powers that have uh especially that decks or uh squads that have ephemeral synergy the haunted team will always be a great asset because i can play um jacks on turn two if a copy will die summon a haunted team the haunted team will summon another jacks and that jack that jacks will also have a ephemeral copy so yeah so if copy a haunted team is crazy with this power together but we got our next power enemies have minus one i was actually better than it looks because of 
few of their regiments have fearsome and minus one on units would mean that few of them will not be able to block um, a fearsome unit which otherwise otherwise they would have been so pretty good this one is pretty nice as well when you summon a champion you summon an informal copy of it we had Jax and swain so both of the informal copy of those two are pretty decent uh this is Jax's two star power every game such a good one mana and whenever you equip an ally uh, when an equipped ally dies uh draw one and of course uh Jax's one star power when allies attack grant me plus one if it is equipped also grant my equipment plus one so basically they can get plus two every uh, round if an equipment ally strikes if a normal ally strikes they get plus one and that's about it